Hey guys, what's up? This is Akoshi from Game Beat Productions, and here is a theory I have about Fallout 4. I believe Fallout 4 is not set in our own universe, but like many people said, besides just the Fallout universe being its own universe, the Fallout universe is set in a Lovecraftian universe. And by Lovecraftian, I mean the you know, novels and stuff based off of H.P. Lovecraft, Lovecraft, who is by far one of my favorite um, authors. But <clears throat> most people know him because of the, you know, the Call of Cthulhu or Dunwich Bor Horrors. I don't know why I said Bores. Um, the Dunwich Horrors, which is actually something in this game, specifically Fallout 4, um, is based off of, which is the Dunwich Horror. I mean, Dunwich Bores mission in which you find the secret cult down in the um when you, i'm not going to ruin it for you. you guys just play the play the game see for yourself that's great but anyways what i'm saying is hp glovecraft lived in the early 1900s and he really didn't make it i don't if i if i can't remember correctly he didn't live very far into where culture had advanced culture had pretty much been stagnant up until after well actually up to about the start of the uh, the 60s culture had pretty much been the same and in a way that kind of reflects on the fallout universe because culture is kind of at a standstill since the 50s now uh, something else i want to say is that oh, another reason it would be said in the left captain universe is there's just so many references all over the place um like dunwich borers which is, you know, supposed to be about the, you know, Dunwich Horrors, basically. Um, and then also in Fallout 3, when you go to the Dunwich building, and the guy is going into a slow amount of, of you know, just going insane. And I remember playing that when Fallout 3 came out, not understanding it until I had, you know, read some more in the Lovecraftian. Because at the time I'd only read, like, you know, Mountains of Madness and stuff. But, you know, I think the Dunwich Building scenario is supposed to be based off of Call of Cthulhu. But something else I'm trying to note is that, <clears throat> and this is going to come into another theory I have about um, video, like not video games, but like culture and Lovecraftian. Um, a lot of the enemies are Lovecraftian based, but not specifically in Fallout. Like, for instance, if you go back and play Skyrim or almost any Elder Scrolls game where Hermaeus Moros shows up, he's a giant tentacle monster. What is mostly Lovecraftian, you know, Lovecraft, you know, recognized with? Cthulhu. What is Cthulhu? A giant tentacle monster squid thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, I am also just kind of running around Diamond City. I've pretty much destroyed this game, and I have a game play through also on this channel if you want to check that out later anyways <clears throat> back to the topic at hand I believe that this is the Lovecraftian universe solely based off of all of the references and that you know it's just kind of everything was just kind of stagnant for a while nothing's changed um, people are always having bad things going on you know it's just dark and that was how Lovecraft portrayed his universe was it was dark you know things were very dark it was the dark side of people and and I remember watching and reading about this Lovecraft himself was a very dark and down person sometimes not as bad as like Edgar Allan Poe and stuff but you know hopefully I can have more time to elaborate on the topics and you know show more evidence but if you agree with me or you have any comments or questions leave them in the comments below I always answer them and you know I'll always answer them I always do that you know I'll be a million comments I'll still try to answer every single one if not I'll send a shout out and stuff on to my Twitter which is at my real name but anyways this has been Zakoshi from Game Beat Productions and I hope you kinda drew something together from this you know thank you